What's going on guys? My name is Jack and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video and we're going to be talking about a subject that has a lot of people really frustrated and that is being able to find animals that have three stars and especially the ones like panthers and cheetahs that are fairly rare spawns and so getting and being able to get them to spawn in with three stars is rather frustrating for some people. So I think I've got a solution here for you. Sit back, relax, watch the video, and let me know your thoughts. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing I recommend doing is once you get to the area where you plan on hunting, you go into your pause menu and you do a manual save. Now, the reason you're doing this is because your game will automatically do saves, but uh, this one is creating a manual save where you can come back to and you can manually reload it as well. So that's what I'm going to do here. I did a little bit of hunting around, and I didn't find any panthers in the area. So I'm just going to go ahead and load in the game right here where I am and get a fresh spawn of animals in the area. And here I am. So uh, just to give you guys a little bit of background, the way I understand the animal the animals work in this game is when you get into a new area of the map or as you travel through the map, the game has to spawn in animals for that for that area. Now part of spawning them in is also the random generation of their star level. So, the area I'm in probably has one panther. So that one panther has a 33% chance, a one in three chance of being three stars. So what I want to do is as, as I load in the game, uh, I need to basically start my hunt. And just to, so that you see where I'm at here, I'm at here. Here's where I am in the map. And I have found a panther. I've killed a panther here. In this area before so when I wanted another perfect pelt I just came right back down to the same area so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, kind of move over here where I want to set up my predator bait and uh, and once I I'm just kind of getting my horse in position and then I'm gonna go put down my predator bait and back up and just watch it Okay, guys, it's been a few minutes, and uh, I'm not seeing anything spawn in. Now, I recommend every probably three to five minutes. If you don't find a, a creature within three to five minutes, just go ahead and reload your spawn. I mean, honestly, it if you're in the right area, you'll probably hear or see a creature in uh, fairly quickly. So if you don't see one in three to five minutes, just go ahead and reload in your manual save point okay so just loaded back in I'm gonna move my horse over in this area and we're gonna see what happens all right so my horse is actually already having it's already a little spooked and right there I think I see one yep right there so, uh, this one, hopefully this one is a three star. I obviously haven't had a chance to look at it, but I'm prepared for him at least. One shot him in the head. That's good. So this one, if it's a three star, this will, this will work out really well. And it's a poor pelt. So, random luck of the draw there. It was a one-star pelt. So that's too bad. So let's go ahead and just uh, go ahead and respawn in. Just reload the save. All right, let's speed this along so you don't have to watch it. Okay, and here I am. Uh, I'm in the area where I'm going to set up my predator bait. 
Now, you don't have to use predator bait, but it just kind of... It makes it easier, especially with a creature like a panther, because uh, that brings him to you, and he's focused on this bait rather than you and eating you. So I'm just going to back up a little bit here and wait. Because I've had good luck already with seeing, knowing that there's a, uh, pan this is a, a panther spawn, I'm pretty much going to stay in this area. In fact, I'm looking over that way to see if the panther is over that direction. But I did put my bait over there, so I need to keep an eye on pretty much uh, when you're <laughs> hunting a panther, you need to kind of keep a 360 degree. 60 degree view of everything just to be safe oh and there we go there's something yep panther make sure we get a good one kill shot nice okay okay that kind of that didn't really fall over, so that's weird. <laughs> Alright. Let's check this one out and see what happens. Now, as I said, it's pretty much just rinse and repeat this. Save. Create a save as soon as you get in the area. And then just uh, hunt around for three to five minutes. Um, this is my third try here. So, hopefully it's a good one. And I probably could have scoped this guy, but... You want to make sure you get him. You don't want to let him escape. Nice. It's a perfect. So, perfect pelt. Three tries. That was like less than 15 minutes before I got one. So, hope this helps, guys. If it does, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so that I know what kind of videos you guys like. Um, and... As always, thanks so much for watching. Here, are, Here's where I am, by the way, once again, if you do need a panther. Um, but if you just wanted to uh, get the video or get the information about how to spawn in level 3 animals, there you go. Alright guys, until next time, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.